Rich. Oh, no, no. Oh, come on now. Good job. Good job. And Tommy Dreamer back up in the steel chair. And same for Gouger back up. And finally, Boy Ray and Masha Slamovich relent. Think wider of it. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here, and welcome to Afternoons Delight. So finally getting a chance here to uh, actually do, you know, some uh, impact recaps, man. i uh, been dying to do these for a while now. I probably won't be able to do these, like, every week, but every now and then I'll be able to have some time to do some. So I'm just going to do, like, three segments on here. I want to focus on this first one. First off, with Bully Ray. Uh, I love it how the crowd and Santino was saying, uh, they called him uh, what, Bobby Ray. <laughs> and the crowd kept on chanting, Bobby Ray, Bobby Ray, Bobby Ray. I think the crowd should have did it a little bit different, like Bobby Ray. So, like, I don't know, it probably would have came off because of the Ray part, but it should have been more of a taunt type chant. So, but I liked it anyways. I think it was pretty effective in this segment. Uh, cause Bully Ray was getting kind of pissed off and stuff like that. So he ended up being like Guder, uh, Gujar, uh, in this match here. Uh, and then after the match is really what we're going to talk about here though. So Tommy Dreamer came out to try to save, you know, his, his pal Guger, uh, Guger here. And then Masha Slamovich came out to hit Dreamer low, uh, but Mickey James came out to make the save, and then a woman brought. Uh, we even saw at one point Bully Ray actually like, kind of choke Mickey James with the chain for a little bit. I like how see on Impact because we were talking about this a little bit too. Some of us uh, other po uh, posters on here. We were talking about like with Aubrey Edwards, how she was able to hit Jeff Jarrett, and Jeff Jarrett was able to hit Aubrey Edwards. But on WWE, nobody can hit Rhea Ripley like. I'm like, man, bro, at least on Impact, they allow Bully Ray to hit Mickey James, bro. Like, you know, equal rights, equal, equal fights. Like, let these, let the men be able to put their hands on a woman, man. I'm not saying nothing like real vicious or anything like that that would be uncomfortable to get Impact Wrestling canceled. Like, nothing like that. I'm just saying, like, something where, like what we saw tonight, you know, so that it looks even... When someone like Mickey James puts her hands on Bully Ray, what is he supposed to do? Just let him, let her uh, beat the fuck out of him? You know, I I I, I like the fact that Mickey, uh, I mean Bully Ray, is able to put his hands on Mickey at any time, and it doesn't just have to be Marshall Slamovich beating her because she's the other female in the picture. Like he's able to do something to her too. So I kind of like it that they always go back to Mickey James coming out doing one of Bully Ray segments. Or him coming out doing one of her segments and, and they're fighting. So, because it kind of keeps that rivalry between Bully Ray and Mickey and then, and then especially Masha Slamovich and Mickey as well. So, let me know y'all thoughts about this segment. I'm going to come back to wrap this up. Okay, you guys, make sure y'all go on ahead and hit the like button, comment, and share the video. Also, make sure you guys also donate to the channel by hitting the thanks button below or you can hit up the cash app dollar sign sack exchange to send any donation to the cash app here are the top donators and you can fit yourself in this list at any time if you donate at least two dollars or more thank you so yeah man uh i, li I like this segment uh I i've been loving it if it ever bully wreck uh, hit mickey james uh like i said it's realistic when they do that and Later tonight, we're going to go over the the match between Giselle, uh, Giselle Shaw and Mickey James uh, in the main event. Really good match, by the way, for the knockouts title. So we're going to go over that a little bit later. Thank you all for watching this one. Afternoons to like.